Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Mod Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another mod from the Ganymede Technologies set. And this is called the Production Mod Pack, which includes these lovely blocks right here. So these are a set of assemblers, refineries, cargo containers and O2H2 generators that have a very sci-fi look to them and do make the old ones look quite plain and boring in comparison. So what we're going to do is have a quick look through all the models, compare them to the original ones, and then we'll go through the different lights on them. And of course we can then take a look at this hodgepodge behind me that I've set up using the same mod creator's conveyor pack. So coming all the way down to here, we'll start with this one, with the adorable small block version sitting on top. This is the hydraulic divider, which is the modded O2H2 generator. This is three times more effective than the vanilla O2H2 generator, and it does look a lot better. We've got a bunch of holographic displays all the way around this thing, where we've got the name of the company and the name of the block over here in this blue circle. We've got some LCD screens on the side, they are completely static, but it's got a little bit of stuff on there to make it more fancy. And we've got this lovely red line that goes all the way through it, that will change colors when you connect it up. And in the middle here, we've got this glass piece, which contains Another digital effect in this lovely blue color, just shooting out the middle. So there we go. And as we move all the way around to here, we'll see the connection point. Then all the way around to the opposite side, we've got the exact same thing. If you were to go right to the back here, we'll have a, another connection point. Then dropping down underneath, guess what? Another connection point. Then coming all the way up and above this, now look down. And we can take a look at this diddly little thing right here, which is the small block version. That's absolutely adorable. I wish I could have this as a pet and follow me around. But yes, there you go if you want it on a small block ship. And does look a hell of a lot better than the vanilla version that's sitting right behind it. Moving over to here, this is the fancy new basic refinery. It looks very much like a fridge in comparison to the vanilla one. And it's got a lovely flush design to go with it so it can easily fit into your blocks. But having that awkward little gap that the traditional basic refinery has right there. Yes, as for the details on the side, if I can actually find the right way up. There we go, we've got another LCD screen display, some more stuff going on with it. Another connection point on the side, then if we were to come down and underneath, not too much going on there, whoops, went underneath. And then over on this side, another connection point. Then onto this side, another connection point. I like the O2H2 generator, this one is slightly better than the vanilla one, being two times faster at its job. Now we can move across onto the big boy, which is the big refinery, which is slightly different than the vanilla one. It's more boxy and more compact. If we were to compare the size like so, we can see it's slightly shorter in length, but about the same size in thickness, and it follows the same design as the small one, being a large fridge-like design. Once again, we've got the LCD screen on the side here, the name of the company and a little bit of information for some extra flair. We've got our conveyor point on the side. Then moving all the way down to here, we've got some more digital effects in the middle there, like you could just transport yourself to a digital world if you shoved your face through it. Yes, we've got a red line on there which will change colour once we connect it up and give it power. Then coming all the way down and underneath, we've got our module slots that we do have modded modules to attach onto it, but we'll look at them a bit later. Yes, we come across over to here and that's the back side and just like everything else this thing is slightly faster in fact it's a lot faster it's four times faster than the base refinery and we can come across onto the basic assembler which is this lovely thing right here so this has got some digital effects on the top of the bottom another lcd screen in the middle with the name of the company around the side here some more digital effects at the very back there the same as the front they're moving all the way up our connection point, and all the way down, the exact same. There we go. And this thing is two times faster than the basic block just behind it. Coming across to the big boy assembler, this is what we get. We've got a connection point at the front there, along with a module slot, with another LCD screen in the middle. If we were to come down and underneath it, look at the bottom, a few more module slots, then all the way around to the opposite side, we've got the exact same thing as the front. Moving over to here, and they got another connection point. Then all the way up and above, another module slot. And this thing is, like the large refinery, four times faster than the base block. 
Now we can come across onto the modules. These modules look absolutely fantastic with how they've been done, and they do look great with how compact they are. So over here at the very front, and I'm sorry if I get these all mixed up because they are fairly similar with their designs, this is the power module. So unlike the other ones which have a very similar design, this is more of a hexagon -y shape all the way around. It's got a circular yet a flat look. I've forgotten what it's called. Yes, we've got this stone straight in the middle there with lots of lovely textures that are very reflective. And we've got this grey frame that goes all the way around with some red pipes that will change colour once we give it power and connect it up. We can see we've got our connection point at the bottom and on the top we've got nothing and on the side nothing else. Coming into the middle this is our yield block where we've got a cube in the middle, a nice reflective cube with some lovely blue colouring on the middle. It's like some kind of rare resource or rare crystal in the middle and does look great. It's a shame it doesn't really spin around but that is asking too much of a module block. Yes, once again we've got a grey frame with some little nodules in the middle going all the way around and some more red piping. And then last but not least we've got ourselves our speed module which is a nice smooth ball in the middle that follows the same texture of some blue and shininess all the way around. We have once again a grey frame with some red pipes. Then coming to the final part of this we've got our containers. This is our small cargo container We've got some glass effects over here where we can view all the way inside. We've got lovely little knobbly parts all the way around here and we've got our connection points on each side. So there we go. And then just coming down and underneath it. There we are. I really like these cargo containers. They're so nice with how they've been designed. The corners as well, the blue digital effects and their shininess as well. And we can always come over to the a large cargo container which is sitting right next to it which is a big upscaled version with a bit more detail. But these little parts are right here like a little vent and yeah it's a very nice design. And because I did forget about it the modules over here are 10% more effective per block than the traditional modules and the large cargo container and the small cargo container can contain 4.7 times more storage inside compared to the default. And as a trade-off for these being a lot better than the default, they do cost a bit more than the vanilla versions. If I was to find the cargo containers, so let's go over the large one right here, we can see its cost. It's a fairly pricey boy with those metal grids. Then we can come across to the modded ones and we can see that it does cost a lot more. And if we look for the assemblers, over here this is the basic assembler where we've got 80 steel plates and whatnot. And over here they require 140. So they're not a one-to-one -one with a vanilla that you do have to work a bit harder to get these up and running. I think it's a well worth trade off. So as for the power itself, just grabbing my character and walking over to this very handy reactor that I shoved in the ground. Just going to switch this on. Like so. And now we're going to turn round. So the red lights on some of them will turn yellow and the other ones will turn blue because they don't need a connection. So this is our O2H2 generator. So we've got another yellow rim all the way around it. Coming across onto these, we've got blue and walking all the way over to our modules. The red pipes have turned yellow and the cargo containers don't change whatsoever. But yes, that is pretty much it for what this mod pack contains. It's a very nice set and if you were to use the conveyors, you could create something like this. So the conveyors fit absolutely perfectly with the design of these blocks, which is great to see and it's to be expected from the same creator and the same themed set. But what I will say is Keen should just take all of these mod items from this creator and create maybe a community DLC pack for free. So you get all of Granimi technologies, conveyors, the blocks, the pistons, the landing gear, all together in a nice concise pack that you can choose to download if you want to or not as a official mod pack. So that'd be great. These blocks are fantastic. They have no problems whatsoever. They are slightly better, but they have a higher cost to compensate. And I do think it would be a great thing for the game. Yes, as per usual, there'll be a link to this mod pack in the description below. If you do wish to download and play around with it yourself, I highly recommend you do. I'll be back with another video some point soon. But before I go, let's just change this to nighttime. So they do look fantastic when they glow in the dark, especially with the conveyors. I absolutely adore these conveyors. They are fantastic. Yes, thank you all for watching. Bye bye.